rapes her at age yes. seven, but he was actually using his finger for me for two years because I remember vividly when he mm -hmm. said to me, You're not a smuggler, you're going to be five. What? Yes, you're going okay. to be five in few months and you tell your mother i will kill you and i'll kill your mother friend dump me nobody wants to be with me some friend mother will say don't go out with her don't be her friend she's Why? a cost child she said this is her mother husband i'm a taboo i will bring bad luck to them so it just a it costs me a lot you should know your child you should know why your child is this and your child became this the child is to be calm and she, you, should, you need to under, you, should, you need to know your child don't say oh you're wayward you're a prostitute you cut her vagina you know how many times i have my they have to tear my vagina and put pepper sometimes it is not the rape that affect or kill people a lot of people have committed suicide mm. they want to speak out mm. right but this shortened them yes now. but society will inflate more pain on yes. you every day my page every day my NGO page every day there's a story of a 70 year old man 90 year old man raping a five year old girl what are what are mothers doing that is putting their children to rape mm. the day you speak out i'm telling you you are broken that spirit of fear when i try to tell her that this is yeah. what is happening i'd like you know you try yes you know she just Nigeria, so yes she just pushed me yes i was saying to my friend i said are you sure my mother have never caught my stepfather defiling me because the, the, the hate repulsion. she had my mom is a everyone knows she's a very loving woman that loves people children she loves everybody people love her but why did she hate me so much yes. this mark that i had yes. it's not the yes. it's not the it's not the rape anymore yes that affecting me because i'm happy because i'm helping a lot of your child yeah. it's not the rape anymore i just feel i look at what my stepfather did to me as my destiny mm. maybe probably god want me to just have the courage to help other young girls but most time when i look at these cars i got through my mother mm. as she cut my vagina she would put pepper she would so break that, my head yes i don't understand those that. are the things that that affect me you. and yes. does it still affect you till now those my when i see them in yes, because she also mentioned it that yes, when you see said, the mark yes, she said to me, you will remember said, this day he said when you get, he said the day you get married eh and your children ask you who did this to me my uh, father right. told me that my mom left him mm -hmm. to follow my stepfather right. because she didn't love him because my father was far far older than him right. but because he saved her family right. he protected them so he won't she just won't have to stay mm -hmm. so after having five children for him she just have to leave him mm -hmm. my brother was like my mother just gave back to my younger brother he's like it's not even up to one month my mother mm -hmm. took us and ran away to, to your stepfather's place but, so she went back to her to father's the, house. Yes, right, right, right. And she has already met my stepfather. Right. And my grandfather told her that she cannot marry the man. Yes. She doesn't like She has to go back. Say no, she don't she won't go back. Right. So she now packed us from Umaya and brought all of us back to Lagos. She left Kaduna to Umaya from Umaya. She brought us to Lagos and brought me to a place where I was destroyed. Yes. Yes. And so how was it? And for those who have not read the book. When after the abuse started, do you understand? Nobody was listening to you, nobody was uh, believing you, and uh, and this man was threatening to kill you kill and kill your mother. mother. Yeah. How did you come out of that situation? Um, I think it was, I was tired, mm. and I had to go and report to an to officer. The, yes, in, in the, the cantonment. Yes. yes. But I, I was scared. I didn't tell him. The full story. You told him I wasn't feeding you. Yes, and stuff like that. So he now sent for him, but. When he came, I couldn't. I want to say, but when I saw him, I saw that monster in him. Mm. I couldn't. I couldn't say him. Mm. I couldn't say. I want to name my book, I, the monster I called that. Yes, but that's a chapter. To, yes, but I didn't want to tarnish his image. You know, I just feel God has a purpose why it happened to me, and he just cautioned him. And when he left, he said to me, "Fatty, there's more mm. to this. What is going on?" It's mine. I couldn't say anything. Just okay. I know this man is defiling you, but since you don't want to say, I know what to do. It was like two months after they posted him out, out from the barracks. Yes. That was how I was able to regain my freedom. Yes. yes. You know, I, when my mother found out, she took me away from the house. Yes. To stay with her uncle. Yes. Then we came back to the house. Yes. Because as the first daughter, I need to be in the house. My mother was still in the mortuary, and this man was defiling me. And he said to me, nobody can protect you anymore. He said this. To yes. You. A lot of this was to create a climate of fear, yes. so you wouldn't talk to anybody. Yes, nobody can. And if I if you do it, I will kill you the same way I kill I will kill your sibling, the same way I kill your mother. Yes. 
so it was that bad experience and i couldn't bear the pains anymore mm. and now he, he raped me and he would beat me yes so nobody to protect me this time he would lock the room when my younger will not come out yes. he would break me and sometimes will not, after i finish raping me he would lock me in the balcony those part i didn't put in the book because this part i supposed to be meant for another documentary that i'm supposed to do yeah, yeah. that people need to understand what abuse girls go through mm. ngo need to understand that like, it's not about you carrying banner and saying say no to rape it is deeper mm. Mm. A, a woman that abused a child beat a child that stay with her see carrying a banner and come and join an ngo and say say no to rape mm. who are we deceiving mm. thank you for joining our youtube channel i know i hope um you loved that video you connected with it don't forget please subscribe please like please share with your friends and family please comment we love to see your comments and to see the full versions join our community right now all past episodes on watch.withtoday.com let's be human together